scoop. <clears throat> All right, right now we're working with Gator and Georgie. All right, I have Gator, uh, Gabriel has Georgie, and we're just doing some leash walking around each other. Um, what I found with these two guys, they're very in tune to each other. I mean, we would actually like to work with them more a little bit separately, but you know, but they're here together. So um, they're just, they're always worried about where the other one is and stuff like that. So that makes it a little bit more tougher in leash walking. Um, the collars are, they're fitting, they, they, they fit perfectly right now. So if I was to make a bigger, it kind of defeats the purpose because they'd slide down. Um, what we're doing today is we're just going to walk, we're going to walk around each other and just try to keep the dog focused on us and keep them moving. They like to hit the brakes on you sometimes if they think the other one's kind of far away. So, come on, let's go. Just got to get them to understand that it's not about where they want to go, it's about where we want to go. to use too many treats just want to keep him moving come on see so the gator's doing a little bit of that stuff to me where he's hit, kind of trying to hit the brakes on me because he just doesn't want to go where i necessarily want to go but it's not up to me so he's doing a little bit of lagging behind He has a tendency to want to go right behind me. Come on. You know, I mean, they definitely need some more work. They kind of, like I said, the biggest problem I think is they just want to be next to each other or, and then want to go where the other one goes. So they tend to pull and they're kind of, you know, they, they can be a little obnoxious about it because they get heavy on the leash and they kind of lean into it. Okay, so it's just going to take more repetition at this point. All right, just, try, just keep walking them and just getting the point across that they don't dictate where they go. We dictate where they go, okay? okay. 